Beluga went from 10k to 2 million subscribers in just over a month, and somehow he actually expected it. How this came about is still somewhat a mystery. Today I'm going to try and uncover the secrets of his growth, and what you can learn from them. I even landed an exclusive interview with the man himself, you won't want to miss it. Beluga started blowing up in June of 2021, but to fully understand the story, we have to go all the way back to when he created the Beluga channel in 2017, naming it Survival Mode. He was simply using the channel as an alternative YouTube account, not posting a single video on it. And yet, in the four years before he posted his first video, he amassed nearly 500 subscribers. How was this even possible? Well, you see, Beluga was by far not his first channel. In early 2019, Beluga began posting videos on a channel named Explore Lucid Dreaming. If you're a fan of the Beluga channel, you've probably heard of it. It's prominently featured on his channel's page. On that channel, he makes videos related to lucid dreaming and sleep paralysis, reaching nearly a million subscribers. And so, these ghost subscribers in the Beluga channel were actually redirected from his lucid dreaming channel. And with this humble start, he posted his first video on February 26, 2021. And thus began his rise. At this time, he created a few Minecraft-based and general random videos, which garnered some attention, especially his documentary on a giant Minecraft hack. This was also the time that he mentioned his plan to actually blow up. If you're watching this, thanks for being here early. I have some huge plans for the channel. If this channel blows up in the future, you might want to like the video and comment now to prove you were here when it started. During this period, Beluga also received another shoutout from his now bigger Lucid Dreaming channel, giving him a huge boost in subscribers and viewers. It was then that everything would change, and his rise would truly begin. On June 12, 2021, Beluga posted his first Discord video, titled Discord Mods Be Like. It was a simple Discord skit, but the reception was like nothing his channel had ever seen before. The video immediately began to blow up, becoming the most popular video on his channel so far. This prompted him to switch to this Discord-only content. Okay, so what caused you to switch from Minecraft to Discord content? So originally, my first Discord video, I didn't plan it at all. Uh, I was trying to get another video out, and it was the night before, and I didn't have any of the footage. I was going to make some kind of like skit. So I threw it together, uploaded it, and then about a week later, it started doing really well. So then I just decided, why not try the same thing, put more effort into it, and it just blew up right away. This is also when you change his name and profile picture to the icons they are today. How did you choose the name Beluga? Because it kind of is in contrast with the cat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like whales a lot. I like the mm -hmm. ocean. Originally, I had like a, a dolphin profile picture, and then I just kind of like changed it to the cat. Uh, I, I still like the name, so I'm going to keep it. But, of course, changing genres is always a huge risk. Would any of his previous viewers even be interested in this type of content? You decided to make fully Discord content. What percent of your audience stayed from the Minecraft content? I think a large percentage of those original people, even though they only make up not even 1% of my audience now, I do see a lot of comments from people saying they've been here since the start. I think mm -hmm. they all enjoy it. So, with that in mind, he continued to make Discord videos, and continued to see success, reaching 1 million subscribers on July 9th, and 2 million shortly after. His channel has amassed nearly 200 million views as of recording. So the real question is, how was he able to achieve this in such a short amount of time? Let's look at his growth methods. His biggest and arguably most influential strategy is his focus on the average videos consumed by a viewer per session. 
I do know that in one sitting, people usually watch like five to six videos. The YouTube algorithm really favors this because they want the viewer to stay on YouTube for as long as possible before clicking off, which maximizes ad revenue for YouTube. Beluga managed to make his content short and addicting, to the point where the video is over before you even know it, and you just have to click on another one. Also, the sheer amount of these videos he has made will put them front and center on your recommended and makes perfect for binging. The YouTube algorithm usually favors longer videos, but the viewer instead watching many short videos more than makes up for their length. The session maximization tactic was one also used by Stevie, and yet Beluga has passed him by far in subscribers. So what else caused his growth? Surprisingly, it's in his thumbnails, and in a strange and unique way. Most popular videos have good looking thumbnails that you click on because you're interested in it or you think you'll be entertained. With belugas, however, they are messy and kinda low resolution. Most are just a screenshot fitted over a black background, with some even being stretched. But the genius of these thumbnails is they relate heavily to the viewer. Situations we've all experienced and questions we have always asked. Just raw. Some other YouTubers have tried to achieve this, but Beluga has really hit perfection with the style. Another strong suit about these thumbnails is that in most of them, you can easily recognize it is from the Beluga channel, which is a replacement for putting your face in the thumbnail. With these masterful thumbnails and massive viewer session lengths, Beluga was able to grow. But his channel holds many secrets, and his view from the top is a unique perspective. How do you actually record your videos? Um, so first of all... Before I started asking the hard-hitting questions, I wanted a view into the production of his videos. I mean, I have to do all the writing, which probably takes the second most amount of time, put a lot more thought into that than most people would think. And then I just get all the screenshots, throw them all into Premiere Pro. It takes me about three to four hours to get a video out. What do you say to people who say that you don't deserve your fame or your videos are too easy to make? I think kind of the brilliance of my channel is that my videos do seem very simple on the outside to a lot of other YouTubers. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot more thought goes into them than people would think. It, it kind of speaks for itself that people really enjoy the content that I make. And I think YouTube will recommend videos that people will enjoy and watch. And that's one of the reasons why my channel has just done so well. Quite a good response, if I do say so myself. But what about his new experience from the top? Um, how, how has it been monetarily for you if you feel asking, I don't need specifics? I mean, it's, it's definitely less than longer videos. I would say like in general, when I first started, I just like making content. I'm not really in it for the money. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. It kind of motivates me and justifies the amount of time that I actually spend. How did you choose the cat profile picture and how has its meaning changed since it has represented your channel? I, I've seen this picture before, kind of online, and I just really liked it. When I was creating like a logo for my channel, I was working on this one design forever, and then it didn't work. I decided, like, why not just throw a cat, put some glasses on him, and then call it a day. Yeah, it is kind um, of crazy, because it's like, tens of millions of people watch your videos, they yeah. associate that picture with you in Discord. Yeah, it's, kind it's of cool. really weird. Everybody who posts it, all the comments are just like, beluga. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check out the full interview, it's on my second channel, link in the description. Overall, Beluga's impressive growth was not random in any way. His deceptively effective thumbnails and extremely long viewer sessions greatly helped him reach where he is today. I am honored to have been able to interview Beluga, and he was very friendly and seems like his growth hasn't gone to his head at all. Go sub to his channel if you've not already, he totally deserves it. Shout out to my channel members Derpy Jibs, TG Loves Cats, this is Aquamist and a Cox. You make this content possible. Join my Discord, it's pretty cool. And well, 
See you in the next one. Bye.